Hi everyone, just back with another video for the Roscommon Sports Partnership here. Hope everyone enjoyed the first video. Uh, had some fun doing the drills and practicing your skills. Um, in today's video, we're going to look at some warm-up stretches. We're going to look at some footwork drills that are going to help us to save some shots. We're going to look at some new core exercises. And then we're going to have a look at some drills for our handling, for reactions and for hand-eye coordination. All that you're going to need is a football or two. If you can get your hands on a rugby ball or a tennis ball or a slither. Uh, some cones. If you don't have any cones, just find something else that you can use. And if you could get somebody else to help you with these, that'd be great. If not, you can do most of these on your own anyway. So we're going to have a look at the drills now. Okay, so these are just some warm-up stretches that we're going to look at. It's going to be three or four in all, and I'll talk you through them as we're going. So the first one is just for loosening out our back. Just switch the ball with each hand and reach back as far as you can. Do five or six each side there, and the back will be nice and free when you're done that. Next, just get your feet uh, shoulder width apart and just make circles around each leg. Four or five one way and four or five the other. Opposite leg, go one way and then the other. Then join the two of them together. So just get them shoulder width apart again, a bit further, and figure eights. So just go nice and slow at the start, then pick the speed up a bit, then back the opposite way. So with them you want to get five or six one way, and five or six back the other way. Last one then is going to be a tricky one. So you get your feet shoulder width apart again, just a bit further, and we're just going to catch the ball in between our legs. With that again, get maybe 10 of them. If you can get more, great. If not, just leave it at 10. Okay, so first up, we're gonna take a look at some footwork drills. Having good quick footwork is gonna help us to save more shots because we can get our body in the way. So if you can get five cones, lay them about a foot apart each one, and there's gonna be five different uh, exercises here. Okay, so first one, you're shuffling in and out. You get to the top, then you go back to it. Okay. Then come to the front of them and you're just going weaving in and out. Forward and back. And back to the start again. Try to keep looking forward all the time. Next one then, just shuffle side to side. Try to keep looking forward. And then last one, just get a few bunny hops. Okay, so now we're going to look at trying to do that with two balls. Okay. okay, so this time we're going to try and go through the cones holding two balls, try and keep them balanced and try and stay looking forward at the same time. Get to the top, go back the way. Okay, then we're going to shuffle in and out at the front and back. Again, try to stay looking forward and back the way again. Try to stay looking forward all the time. If you need to have a look down, just have a quick one. Get to the end, back you go. Then get rid of one ball. Just get through our bunny hops again. Try to get the knees nice and high. And now we're gonna look at that just with some shots at the end. Okay, so for the last set, if you can get somebody with you, just take a shot at the end of them. So straight on. Shot at the end. Leave in and out again. Next sideways. Stay looking forward all the time. Shot. Back to it. And then our bunny hops. So that's our footwork drills. So if you can get somebody with you, it's great. If not, just keep practicing on your footwork. Okay, so next up are some core exercises. So having a good strong core, that'll help stop you getting small little injuries and it'll improve your power and your strength. There's gonna be two exercises here. 
and I'll talk you through them as we're doing them. So down on the ground, feet off the ground, and we're just going to do little flutter kicks. So you don't want your heels touching the ground here. Okay, you can do 10 of these, you can do 20, you can do 30, keep going until it gets too sore. Then the next one, just lie back a small bit more, keep your back arched, and just passing the ball back and over. Again with that, if you can get 10, if you can get 20, or if you can get 30, keep going until it's sore, and do that for two or three rounds. Okay, so next up are hand-eye coordination drills. If you can get a tennis ball or a slither, that'd be great if you can get somebody else to do it with you as well. If not, you can just use the wall. There's gonna be three drills here, and these will keep us nice and sharp. So first off, just warm up, left and right hand. Stay on the toes. Okay, so get maybe 10 each hand. Then move into the wall. Put your back to the person thrown. get 10 right hand, 10 left hand again. Okay, so this is our last hand-eye coordination drill here. You can get somebody else doing it with you, with the tennis ball. You start with your back to them. They shout go or turn. You turn off one side and they throw the ball, you catch it with one hand. Go. Turn off both sides. Go. You get 10 right hand, 10 left hand, or 10 turns on your right and 10 turns on your left. Okay, so the next set are our handling drills. What we want to focus on is the W shape and using our footwork that we've used from the footwork drills to help us get out. You don't want to be taking big long strides, you want to take a few short quick ones like we've been working on in the footwork drills. So there's four exercises in this part. First off, focusing on the W, just hand pass. Get five each hand, then into kick pass. Five each leg. Then, focusing on W, throw the ball in the air, get up off the ground. Five each leg, then we can kick. Get up, kick again, left foot. Then if you can get somebody else with you, get them to throw one in the air, get up off to the ground, W shape, and then get them to kick it as well, just make it a bit harder. Okay, so what we're focusing on is W and jumping off both legs using nice, short, quick feet and using both hands and both legs for kicking and passing. Okay, okay, so our next handling drill here, I have a small square laid out with cones. If you don't have cones, just use something else. Three meters square and a cone in the middle. All we're going to work on here is our footwork again and then a shot at the end. Okay. Around each cone, back to the middle. Okay, if you want to make that harder, you can get the person taking the shots to have a number on each cone, whatever number they call, you get around that cone, or you can ask the person kicking the shot, put it low, put it in a corner, things like that. Okay. Okay, so finally we're going to look at some reaction drills. Uh, good reactions are going to help us to stay nice and sharp and they're going to help us to make some good reflex saves. You can get a rugby ball or an American football or a ball that when you throw it against the wall you don't know where it's going to go. That's going to work really good for this drill. So just throw the ball against the wall. You don't know where it's going to go. If you do that 10 times, take a break and then into the next reaction drill. So this is our last reaction drill. Uh, you're going to need two balls, one in your hand, one on the ground, just a small bit away from you. You're going to throw this ball in the air, dive on the ball on the ground, get up really quick and dive to wherever this ball has gone. Okay, so you start on the toes, throw in the air, up quick, catch that ball. Same again, set it up. Throw the ball in the air again, dive on that one, and catch this ball wherever it lands. You want to do five each side, and you should be good to go after that. Do two or three rounds of that with the rugby ball drill. Okay, so that's all our drills there. 
Uh, if you can get out and practice them a couple of times a week, you'll be flying it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.